what's going on everybody welcome back to my channel i am so glad you're here i hope everybody is doing well it is saturday the 16th 17th sorry 17th of september and i have a grocery haul for you i spent about 550 dollars this isn't everything this is just the cold stuff and i need to get this put away as soon as i possibly can if not sooner. <laughs> so we're just going to jump right into this so I can get it all put away. I've already recorded this part of the haul and I am still fairly new here to YouTube and I don't know how to edit. I'll admit I do not know how to edit. So I stopped that other part of the haul instead of pausing it. And since I don't know how to edit and put two things together. Yeah, here we are again. So Let's jump right into this so I can get all this put away, shall we? Here I have some mango slices. Uh, we were a little bit hungry when we got home. So here is a man mango slice. <laughs> Don't worry about all this. This is bags. Like I said, we just got home. I'm unpacking. There's some stuff down in there to still show. It's all dry though. You'll see that in a minute. Sit back and relax. All right, let's get back into it. We got some strawberries white button mushrooms my daughter and i love mushrooms especially sauteed with some butter and i have two things here of spring mix there is the other one here is some broccoli crowns stay okay we got some golden kiwi these are supposed to be sweeter so we'll see and there's three times the vitamin c of an orange hmm. if that's the case that might be a good option for cold and flu season keep all the nasties away right <laughs> i got two peaches here two bags of the mini cucumbers aren't they cute they're so small oh i love them and the snap and the crunch in these oh you would never buy another regular cucumber again not even um an english cucumber can hold a torch to that then we got some peppers mini sweet bell peppers i don't know if i mentioned these or not but if not there they are i got a three pack of zucchini here behind our zucchini i got two bags of the garden mix i got some cilantro here Whoop. a large bag of carrots this haul is between aldi's and sam's club i didn't get that much at sam's club maybe a handful of things so i'll let you know what is from sam's club and this bag of carrots is from sam's and then back here i also got a bag of brussels sprouts Sorry, mama gotta take a break. So I'm sitting down while I do this. If it gets a little shaky, I apologize. My back is killing me. Long day, no sleep. You mamas know how it is. All right, we got some Field and Farm Roma tomatoes. I got a pineapple back here. I got a gallon of apple cider, gallon of milk, some half and half pumpkin spice coffee creamer a large package of american cheese slices it's gonna start getting cooler here i hope uh today it's like 76 i believe and tomorrow's supposed to be like 83 we're going apple picking tomorrow and it's gonna be 83 stinking degrees Ugh, i'm ready for some fall weather how about everybody else <laughs> so this is from sand club obviously it's very large <laughs> a very large package of cheese but um we're gonna be doing um grilled cheeses and some cheese steaks you know stuff like that and i mean you never know what you need cheese for so we got that and here i picked up the pumpkin spice latte cold brew coffee because i am that basic white girl mm -hmm. all me <laughs> this is made with almond milk so if you can't have dairy for some reason this would be a great alternative i've heard that this brand is actually really good i've never tried it before but i'm excited to and i i have no problems with almond milk i there we don't have dairy allergies in this house um obviously <laughs> there's no dairy allergies in this house but i do like almond milk so i'm hoping that um i enjoy this so over here we have four blocks of cream cheese a container of heavy whipping cream working my way around <laughs> okay we got two bags of cheese i got a mild cheddar this italian style that has mozzarella provolone romano asiago parmesan 
So excited to try that. Behind these cheeses, this was bought at Sam's Club. It is a large box of yogurt. There are 18 cups in here. We got peach, strawberry, and there's a blueberry. Ugh, right there. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> okay. And then if we come back up here, yep, sat down again. Sorry. <laughs> okay, I got some pumpkin pie yogurts. I got four of those. And I got one maple because hubby likes maple. I know he's also going to eat regular yogurt though too. So that's why I only got one of these. I love my pumpkin though. I will take pumpkin all day every day. So I'm mostly going to be eating these. And my daughter really wanted to have the Yoplait cups. Because believe it or not, she doesn't like the... Um, oh, what's it called? The go -Gurts. She doesn't like those anymore for some reason. So... I mean, if she likes this better, I think there, there has to be less sugar in these. If anybody knows, let me know down in the comments because those go -Gurts, they way taste way sweeter than they should. So, that must be their trick. Sugar, sugar, sugar. But I know Hubby's going to eat these too, so that's why I only got him one of these. I got one papaya. Did I mention three zucchini? If not, there they are. I got, uh, we got a bag of Cara Cara oranges. You saw the mushrooms. I got two bags. Oh, hello. I got two bags of the Vidalia onions. There's one and I know about two. Oh, there's the other one. I got some little, or I'm sorry, Wild Wonder tomatoes. These are super cool because they're all different colors. So if you're making like a charcuterie board or something like that, then these are nice looking for on something like that. I got a pound of butter because I already have four in the freezer as we got lower in our stock I guess you could say I noticed that we still had four pounds of butter and I didn't realize that so I'm always stocking up on butter whenever I go to the store because that's one thing I don't care to run out of when I am cooking or baking or anything like that so I always stock up so I only picked up one this time because again we have four and I mean we don't need that much butter so I got that two peaches I don't know if I mentioned those but there they are we got some cheese here. We got the first a coffee. This is an artisan cheddar cheese rubbed with espresso and lavender. This cheese is really good. I don't know why and I don't know how. I mean, I love cheddar cheese, but there's a flavor to it. It must be the lavender because I don't get much of a coffee or espresso flavor from it, but there's a flavor. And it's not like it's florally. I, I would try it. I mean, if you like coffee and you like cheese, I would try it. I like it. I really enjoy this cheese. So I got one of these. We got a white Stilton cheese with blueberries. We're going to have this with some turkey pepperoni that we have in our fridge and some crackers. I got two containers of the sour cream. Move over, papaya. Oh, get back there. Okay. I got one of these jumbo pumpkin rolls which I noticed they didn't say cinnamon rolls with like a pumpkin frosting, even though they do have a pumpkin icing to them. Did I say frosting? I meant icing. They do have a pumpkin icing to them, but I mean, what's in them? Like if it's not cinnamon, is it like pumpkin spice? I don't know. If you've had these before, let me know down below because I'd like to know. I got, whoops, there goes something. Anyways, I got two pounds of bacon, one package of pork chops, four this is only one but i got four containers of ground beef we go through a lot between um homemade burgers and tacos and meatloaf and chili and it's getting to hopefully if this weather breaks god willing <laughs> it will hopefully get cooler and we'll be having some chili and stuff so i picked up four of these there's one there and then there's one here one here and one all the way down there and speaking of ground beef, back here we have some bacon and cheddar cheese burgers. My daughter really enjoys these. I'm not, I mean, I can live without burgers. I <laughs> I won't be upset if I never see another burger again or ground beef. Well, I mean, tacos are good, right? But, eh. I don't know. I, I'd still be okay with not seeing another burger again. But anyways, we got these because she enjoys those and then I got my daughter her sushi because she loves sushi 
So I picked up this shrimp and avocado roll. I really enjoy these two. It's just like, I don't know if it's like a shrimp salad. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, that looks, oh, sorry. That looks salad-y, right? Like a shrimp salad or something. I think that's all it is. But it's good and it has avocado in it and it includes soy sauce and wasabi. I thoroughly enjoy these. Although I don't give her wasabi because she's just getting into like spicy stuff. She's nine years old. And she's just getting into kind of like trying out like different things and seeing where her tolerance is. So I don't let her do the wasabi because that <laughs> burns my nose and that makes my eyes water and that sets me on fire for a little bit. It does go away fairly quickly, but it still hurts and I don't want to put my kid through that pain. So <laughs> until her tolerance builds up, we don't give her the wasabi, but she does enjoy these. So I got two of those and then I got bacon mac and cheese bites which I thought these were just plain mac and cheese bites I didn't realize that they were bacon but I mean either way bacon and mac and cheese yum got some buffalo chicken mac and cheese bites which I th thought that they were both the same like I said I thought these were regular so I thought I was picking up two regulars until I got home and I noticed that this one's buffalo which I mean again I don't know how my daughter's gonna do with that but we can try and see what happens Back here, we got a box of beef taquitos. There's 20 in that box. And I mean, it's a quick and simple lunch if you're running out the door for something and you need something to eat. Um, I mean, just throw a couple of these in the oven or the microwave or whatever while you're getting ready. And there you go. You got a quick and simple lunch. You don't have to get fast food. And up here, I picked up some stew beef. Wow, well, stew meat, although it is beef. So not totally wrong, right? <laughs> I picked that up for some stew one night for dinner. I got a dozen eggs. Here I got some mandarin oranges and light syrup, some olives. I picked up more of both of these. I think I got four cans of olives and two cans of the mandarin oranges, I think. It, they're still put away, but I'll get to that part of the haul here in a little bit. I got a bottle of extra virgin olive oil. This seemed different and interesting. It's creamy carrot bisque soup. I'm excited to try this. My daughter doesn't like tomato soup, which I mean, I didn't when I was a kid either, but I love it now. So that can change. They say your taste buds change every seven years. And I'm beginning to realize that a lot with myself. <laughs> so you never know. But this seemed really good. I like carrots. We, well, we love carrots around here. So hopefully we'll like this maybe with some grilled cheese one night or for lunch. I got a bottle of a teriyaki Asian sauce. I got a container of ground cloves and ground nutmeg. I was making pumpkin muffins a couple nights ago. And even though I have pumpkin pie spice, and it called for pumpkin pie spice, and both of these are in pumpkin pie spice, it still called for these, like each of these a little bit, and pumpkin pie spice. So I picked up some of these because I think I have nutmeg, but I mean, let's face it, we all have that one thing that we only use around the holidays. And this is one of them, like nutmeg. I don't use that a whole lot. And ground cloves, here's a little fact for you. If you have a child that is teething, put ground cloves on their gum. Really, it works. That's what I did for my daughter when she was younger because I didn't want to put Ori gel or all those chemicals and stuff in her mouth. So I just used ground cloves and it works. She will be <laughs> slobbering like you wouldn't believe and sleeping in minutes. Um, so it worked really well. But I mean, like I said, like these are just things that I don't use all the time. So I had to pick some of these up. Coca-Cola bottles. My daughter loves these. I used to do when I was younger, but I just, I don't know. I'm not much of a gummy person, I guess. I don't know. I prefer chocolate. I don't even like that anymore. So I guess I'm just not much of a candy person anymore. <laughs> I got a container of these baked beans. These are from Sam's Club. These are amazing. I don't like baked beans, but I thoroughly enjoy these. I don't know if it's the brisket or what, but I mean, yum. So good. Look at this. I mean, these are like really, really, you can even see like the meat in there. I mean, these are delicious. If you have a membership and you haven't tried these or you've been hesitant on trying these, try them. You will not regret it. Over here, we got some cheese sticks, Colby Jack. I also bought these from Sam's Club. There's the rest of my Leaning Tower O beef. <laughs> Over here, we got some beef round steaks, also from Sam's Club. Back here, this giant bag of chicken. I believe it's 10 pounds, I think, unless they changed it. 
but I think it's 10 pounds. Also from Sam's Club. Oh, it is 10 pounds. Look at it. Huh, 10 pounds. Okay, so over here we got some angel hair pasta, some chicken broth for a recipe, some Grillo's pickles. I love these and they were less than $6 at Sam's Club. Anywhere else you go, you get a tiny, tiny container for $5. Like at Walmart, $5 for a tiny container of these pickles. I bought these at Sam's Club for less than $10. Or, I'm sorry, less than $6. $10. Wow. <laughs> I wouldn't be touching those. <laughs> but these are so good and so fresh tasting. And they have the dill in there. And they have the garlic and the spices and just everything. They are amazing. If you haven't tried them... They're, they are a little pricey, but if you have a Sam's Club membership, again, I mean, I would give them a try, especially for their price. Really good. We love those. Going down here, we have some assorted Belgian chocolate pumpkins. We have chocolate crisp, chocolate cream, vanilla cream, dark chocolate cream, salted caramel, and coffee ganache. If you know me, you know that I love my coffee and pumpkin flavored pretty much anything. So, I'm really excited to try the coffee ganache. And down here, I got some sea salt caramel chocolate chunk cookie dough because my daughter is all about that cookie life. <laughs> I picked up some chocolate hazelnut and vanilla rose cones. These cones really do look like this. Let me see if I can open this and show you. These are so cute and they're probably melted. Ooh, they're not. I'm surprised. They are pretty soft though. But look at this. Where am I? Look at this. That looks so cool. It actually is the way it shows on the box. I got these at Aldi's. If you're interested, they also had a strawberry one, which I like a little bit more than this. And I'm surprised. I love chocolate hazelnut stuff. And I just, I wasn't feeling it with these. They weren't doing it for me. But the strawberry ones, awesome. Sorry if you were offended by that. I know that's like not okay now, apparently. I, I don't know. If I offended you, I'm sorry. Down here we have two bags of sugar while I was making my pumpkin muffins the other night. I ran out of sugar. Perfect timing, right? <laughs> Leave it up to me, but hey. And I got two bags, so I'm good for a little while. Got some barbecue lays. I got these at Sam's Club for my daughter. She loves them. And while we're here, before I get to getting this stuff put away, I will take you over and show you my non-grocery stuff. <laughs> okay. Over here we have the essentials. I mean, you know, you need that. It's toilet paper, in case you didn't know. Um, so Dawn Power Wash, I love that stuff. Tide Pods. Uh, these two, the Power Wash and the toilet paper, I picked up at Sam's Club. The Tide Pods came from Aldi's. And then over here we went to a pet store called Pet Supplies Plus and I picked this up. I had a 25% off coupon. Sorry. So I picked up the natural paper bedding. And I picked up tiny some treats. She loves these critter pops. So I got two bags of those. And I got the Vitacraft Crunch Sticks. These are the popped grains and honey flavor. She loves these. And she doesn't like anything packaged. Like um, like a cookie or anything. I mean, yeah, she likes that. But I mean like a snack or like a treat or something like that. This is all she likes. So I always make sure that I have these on hand. Just because, like I said, it is the only thing she really likes. Aside from her fresh produce. So... That is it for the non-grocery and for all of our cold stuff. So I'm going to get this stuff put away and I will be right back with our non-perishables. We'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back with the rest of the haul. That definitely took a minute. <laughs> I wish it was as fast for me to put it away as it is for me to leave you and then come back to you. Because, boy, would that be a time saver, right? Or if we could just snap our fingers. Yeah. That would be great. <laughs> I thought I had more um, things that were like non-perishable, like stuff I didn't have to put in the freezer or fridge, um, but apparently not. But this is what we have left, so here we go. Here I got some organic coconut oil. I didn't get organic intentionally, but I use this for my pumpkin muffins. They come out so amazing. They are the best pumpkin muffins that I've ever, 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 ever had. So uh, that's what I use this for. And it's about the only time I use it like once a year. Um, and this was the biggest one that they had. Otherwise, I just would have gotten regular 
non-organic coconut oil. But this is cold pressed, unrefined virgin oil. And I believe the cold pressed is better for you because something to do with the way they press it. Like it doesn't get rid of like the vitamins and stuff in it, I believe. I don't know. I could be wrong. And it's non-GMO and all that good stuff. And it is just organic coconut oil. That's it. So yeah, got that for my muffins. And then back here, I got a long green and wild rice mix, roasted vegetable and chicken, some chicken rice. I got a Parmesan couscous. I'm probably saying that wrong, but that's okay. Rice pilaf and some garlic and basil quinoa. Those are just dinner size, so just keep in the pantry, just so that there's something there. And then I picked up some Great Northern Beans. I got two cans of those. I'm going to use these in my chili. My chili is pretty, I mean, it's as basic as you can get. If you're looking for an easy chili recipe, I use these. I don't know if I showed you these before, but I was showing the cold stuff. But I got two of these 30% less sodium chili seasoning mix packets. I got two of them. And for me, I only got two of these, even though I plan on making more chili than this throughout the month. Um, just because this is all they had in the less sodium. I'm not crazy about like all the salt that they put in this stuff. It's just, it's ridiculous. I mean, is it really even necessary? Uh, look at that sodium, 240 milligrams, 10%. That's just, uh, no thank you. And that's less sodium. So, I mean, I don't even want to know it's in the regular one. I didn't even look, but for every one pound of meat and you can use ground chicken, ground turkey, whatever you choose, whatever you, your family likes. And for every one pound of that, you're gonna use one of these, one can of beans, and one can of the diced tomatoes. And I usually chop up an onion in mine and I just let it go in a crock pot all day. Um, I usually use ground beef, <coughs> excuse me. But when I make it, I make like a double batch so I use two of everything. So I'm gonna use these two when I make my chili. The next time I make it, I'm gonna use two of these. Two cans of beans. Now I got two cans of the Great Northern Beans because for some reason I really like these beans. Uh, even in chili, I think they're really good. So I'm gonna use one of these and since it's um, typical, I guess, to use the kidney beans, I got two of these. And then I got two of the dark red kidney beans. Come on out, there we go. <laughs> I got two cans of these, so I'm going to use one of these and one of these and then two cans of the diced tomatoes. And then I'll just put in onions, just, you know, I mean, whatever you want, whatever your family likes. And if your family doesn't like onions, then just don't put them in. That's fine. But mine is just super basic, super easy, just because, I mean, there are nights when you just need super basic and easy. Um, I've never tried making chili homemade, though, before. That's something that I definitely want to try. Um... So yeah, I got the dark red kidney beans. I got two of those. I've already showed you one of the cans of the mandarin oranges and the light syrup that I picked up. So here's two more. The same with the olives. I did end up getting four cans of those. So here's three more cans of olives and I've already showed you one. And then I got four cans of the Happy Harvest diced tomatoes. I usually go for the fire roasted just because I prefer those. Um, but if you like these or they have, I believe they have ones with Italian seasoning. You can also use those. But, um, I mean, any diced tomato is fine. I just prefer the fire roasted. Then back here, I picked this up at Sam's Club. I got the, uh, I'm sorry, this Arnold Palmer, Palmer, I'm sorry, <laughs> long day. Oh my goodness. The Arizona iced tea is from Aldi's and that was like $4.99, I believe. Um, so I picked up that for me. I like that. And then some sparkling water down here. We have peach nectar black raspberry and strawberry lemonade this i got at sam's club i've never had this before but i've had the ice ones and i've heard that these compare to the ice ones i don't know because i mean again i've never had them before um so i'm looking forward to trying those it's something different and it's better than soda um there's not supposed to be as much sugar in here it says zero sugar but i mean Look, if you've ever had these, you know that they're sweet. They're sweetened with something. So you can tell me there's zero sugar all you want, but it, it's a sugar substitute, we'll say. But zero sugar and calories, it's better than soda. I guess. I mean, pick your poison, right? And then over here, I got juice boxes for the kiddos. I got the kids Rethink Juice Splash boxes in the fruit punch and the strawberry lemonade. And there's 32 in there. And I didn't realize this until I got home, but... 
these are organic also. So, yeah. Better than putting all those chemicals in them, I guess, right? I mean, I, I'm not even going to get into the whole organic debate, but I guess that's good. That's great. They're going to drink them. They're going to like them. Up here, I got a pumpkin cinnamon candle from all these. By the way, these juice boxes also came from Sam's Club, and this candle up here came from all these. I don't know if you guys have ever tried the all these candles, but I, they're really good. I like them. We enjoy them. Um, for $3.99 for this large candle, it's a soy blend candle. Um, they're the same size as Bath and Body. I'm sorry, I'm sitting down. I had to reach. Um, they're the same size as Bath and Body, though. Let's see if there's a size on here. Yeah, it's a 14 ounce can candle. I believe that's the same as Bath and Body. As far as the size, I mean, it looks exactly the same. Uh, this is also a three wick. I'm sorry if that was too loud. But this is also a three wick candle, and if only you can smell it. It smells so good. I love pumpkin. I love cinnamon. I mean, everything about this candle is me. So I picked up that. I don't know if I showed you this before when I was showing you the cold stuff, but I got pumpkin pie dessert hummus. I've never had this one before, but I did have their brownie batter one. That was just uh, amazing. It was so good. I tried the carrot cake one. I wasn't a fan, but their brownie batter was amazing. And I mean, again, I am that basic girl, so <laughs> I love my pumpkin, so I'm hoping that I enjoy that. I got some of this roasted sweet corn flavored popcorn. It's like corn flavored corn, <laughs> but it's really, really good. I didn't think I would like this. I kind of thought it was just that like corn flavored popcorn, really. I, I didn't think I'd enjoy it, but it's really, really good. So if you have the chance to try something like this, I would suggest it. And then I picked up this Tropical Trail Mix. I really enjoy the papaya that's in here. Um, that obviously is not papaya. <laughs> that is banana chip. But this has dried pineapple, dried papaya, banana chips, raisins, golden raisins, dried cranberries, almonds, and cashews. And I mean, it just looks delicious. And I've, I've tried this already and I do enjoy it. I really do. But the last bag that I had, it was like all raisins and golden raisins and dried cranberries and don't get me wrong i like them i don't mind them but i don't want a bag full if i'm paying for a, a trail mix i want a little more variety and this one looks a little bit better than the other one did it doesn't look like it's all raisins and you know stuff like that so i'm hoping that's better and because we like mango we've gotten to this too look it's been a munchy day okay don't come after me <laughs> we got some dried philippine mango and this, it's good. I would rather it not have sugar because it does have added sugar. I don't know if that wants to focus, but that does have added sugar. So I'm not too excited about that. And like I said, it's okay, but I would definitely rather not have the added sugar. I'm going to have to check out Sam's Club. I noticed that they had a big bag of mango like this. And I think this was 4 or $5, I think. And the one at Sam's Club, it was like twice the size and it was like seven dollars i think so i think i'm gonna have to try and check theirs out the next time that i go and see if they have sugar on theirs because i mean look it's fruit it's already sweet i mean if you're picking it at the right time why do you need to add sugar it's already got plenty of sugar in it right so uh i don't know but these are good for now and then we got some pretzel hamburger buns and i'll be honest with you i use these for sandwiches and they are amazing and these are pre-sliced buns and i just i love them they are so so good definitely my weakness and after picking up this i just realized that i never picked up lunch meat i actually have more stuff over here more bread and stuff that i just realized that i never put out for you guys to see so i'm gonna show you that right now before we go any further and if you see any junk food over there just ignore it it's not there right now ignore it no big deal okay i also picked up these garlic knots i picked up two bags of these i'm sorry if that's in your ear and you're wearing earbuds i should have definitely warned you so i apologize but these are super good and they're like pillowy soft and just amazing when you take them out of the oven because they're heat and serve and oh, oh. We love them. I, they have a hard time keeping those in stock at our store. So when we find them, I grab them. <laughs> I for some breakfast sandwiches since I bought the bacon and I got that huge package of cheese and stuff and eggs. I'm going to make some freezer breakfast sandwiches. 
Um, my daughter does homeschool and it's just easier for her in the morning to just grab something like that or it's just easier if she gets up a little bit later I mean that's fine because she could technically do her schooling in bed I mean if she really wanted to so we picked these up that way if she does get up a little bit later I could still give her something that she can have like in front of her um in front of her laptop something that a little more compact for her to eat I guess so we got those And then for tacos, I just bought two packs of these flour tortillas. There's eight in here. They're large burrito size. We like these for our tacos, though. Um, I, I've never tried making these homemade, but I've heard they are absolutely amazing. And if you're not making them homemade, you're definitely missing out. So I definitely want to find out at some point. So I think I'm going to throw these in the freezer just so that I have them just in case. But I think I'm just going to try and make them homemade and see how they turn out because I'm kind of excited to find out I mean really it's like flour and like water isn't it I mean I don't I don't know I thought it was like flour and water what does this say a whole bunch of flour some sugar seems like it's flour water and sugar I mean that can't be too hard right I don't have a tortilla press but I mean if I roll them out like super thin it should be fine right i'm gonna find out and i'll we'll let you guys know how that goes because i definitely want to find out <laughs> and then back here i know that i got a gallon of um apple cider but i also got this sparkling fresh apple cider um hubby enjoys this and my daughter likes to drink it because it's a glass bottle and only adult beverages come in glass bottles right <laughs> so pick those up they enjoy them i figure apple cider is apple cider i don't need it to sparkle i just need it to taste good <laughs> And now to the corner of shame because kids <laughs> and I have my dried fruit and my trail mix and everything over here. So that's mommy snacks. These are kids snacks and these will last the whole month. I'm just throwing it out there. I shouldn't have to, but I'm going to. These are going to last the month. Once they are gone, if they are gone this week, guess what? They have no more until next month. And that's completely fine with me because <laughs> kids don't need no more sugar, but it's getting to be that time of the year. Seasons are changing and the new flavors are coming out. So it is what it is. <laughs> okay. So we got some of these chocolate chip dunkers. It's just, it's pretty much just cookie sticks that you can dunk in your milk or coffee or whatever you choose to dunk it in. We've got some Bake Shop apple cider donuts. These are always really good. I'm not that big of a fan of apple cider. Sometimes I'll want it, but these are good. Got some Fluffinutter cookies. These are new for them. So I figured we'd give these a try because why not? I mean, if you've ever had a Fluffinutter, why not have it in a cookie? Does that mean it's okay to have for lunch? Just, you know, asking for a friend. <laughs> I got two bags of the semi-sweet chocolate chips because, I mean, again, it's getting to be that time of the year and I'm starting to get my, like, things ready for holiday baking and starting to stock up and stuff like that. So that's what this is going to go towards. These won't be used for... A while probably but i got two of those i got a bag of mini marshmallows because my daughter likes um ambrosia you might also know it as like hawaiian salad or something like that but it has coconut mini marshmallows a tub of sour cream a can of mandarin oranges which is why i got so many because one can is going to go in the salad and then she just likes mandarin oranges and then i already have a jar of cherries so that's going to go in with this also so that's what that is for and that is also what this coconut is for the sweetened coconut flakes so there's those and then back here we got animal crackers these are like you remember <laughs> i'm aging myself now but <laughs> remember years ago at mcdonald's when they used to like if you ordered a kid's meal like your kids would get a pack of cookies right that is exactly what these are like it's the same stinking thing these are so delicious so stinking good if you go to all these pick these up you will not regret it so good and like i said seasons are changing so are the flavors so we got some pumpkin spice flavored cream cookies that are just like oreos and then i got these maple leaf cream cookies that are pretty much the same thing just in the shape of a maple leaf so i figured that would be kind of cool to try i think last year we had the pumpkin spice i'm i'm probably gonna catch a lot of heat for this i don't like oreos i know i, I look <laughs> look 
we can't all like the same things and that's okay right so I tend to not like things like this but my daughter again she's all about that cookie life and these can sit in the cabinet for a while and I'm not gonna care um so I figured we give these a try it again hubby likes maple so I figured that he would like these maple leaf cookies and then these are mostly for my daughter I mean they can share them I, I don't really care but these were bought with her in mind she was with me and these she would also like to try and they were bought with him in mind so that is everything I can't believe we finally got through that and only took 35 minutes um <laughs> thank you so much for joining me for this large haul the largest haul that I've done so far and possibly the largest one I will ever do because let me tell you I live in an upstairs apartment and hubby is not home he had to go to work and I had to bring all of this up by myself I'm not trying to do that again <laughs> But uh, there might be larger hauls in the future. You never know, especially around the holidays when you have family coming in and stuff like that. So I don't know. Stay tuned and we will see. And if there's anything that you would like to see on this channel, let me know. Um, I definitely want to do what you guys like and what you guys want to see. So if you like this video, make sure you leave it a like. Comment so I know that you came by. Don't be afraid to say hi. I don't bite. I promise. Um, let's talk. Comment down below. And subscribe. I would love for you to be a part of our family. We are a family of three. We have a guinea pig. Um, and she is adorable and the sweetest thing ever. Um, and yeah, we'd love for you to be a part of our YouTube family. And uh, like to see where this channel takes us. And that's all up to you. Up to you guys and what you guys want to see. So if you're a new subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video and stopping by. If this is a long winded haul and it's too much for you, but you still manage somehow to make it to the end. Thank you so much. Let me know what you thought about it down below. And yeah, that's it. I think. So you guys have a great night or day whenever you're watching this. All right. I love you guys. We'll see you later. Bye.